So when you first learn the Net Positive Life app, you get options about things which you can do. Um, and you're presented with a series of options here or on your dashboard, which will appear here. Both of these take you to the same menu. So let's start here. So if you wanted to go about adding things to your Net Positive Life Plan, you could click on, say, Transport. And what that allows you to do is to add something. It could be walk and cycle short journeys, travel in a low carbon vehicle, use public transport more, or cut down or stop flying. There's also reduced car ownership. So first of all, let's say that I wanted to add a walk and cycle short journeys. Well, what you can do here is you can learn a little bit more about walking and cycling short journeys. I mean, you might choose to do 75% of the time or 100% of the time. Um, we chose these because these are more impactful um, amounts and, and, and they make a bigger difference. So you can click on more detail, action to learn more, and it'll tell you a little bit more about how to walk and cycle short journeys or give you some useful links and it'll give you some impact of your actions. Now, let's say that you like that, you can go back and you can take that action. Well, you might decide that that's something that you can do this year. So I will add it to my plan for 2024. And then you can click, click to add to net positive life plan. And what this will do is now take you to your transport journey and it will show to your transport side. And what it will do is it will show that you've actually added um, the walk and cycle, half, half of journeys under five miles, 50% of the time. And the estimated impact of actions all comes into here and how much you've saved um, and the cost savings from your actions. Um, you can go then go about clicking on something else and adding more actions. But that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.